Last March, I memorized 1,294 digits of pi, and that was just 100 of them. You may recognize pi from your pesky high school math class, or maybe you recognize the infamous irrational number, especially since yesterday was pi day. The exorbitantly large number I just recited for you is much more extraordinary than you think. Let's go back to your high school geometry class. Think of a circle. It has no end, no breaking points. It's just a simultaneous continuation of itself. This concept can be defined as infinity. The word infinity is open-ended. In fact, there are many different meanings and interpretations of this word. Maybe you've even heard of the phrase, to infinity and beyond. In mathematics, the term infinity can be defined as a number greater than any assignable quantity. The variety of infinite numbers in math can extend to many areas. But tonight, I want to focus on a number that I deemed as an irrational outcast, pi. So out of all the numbers I could have possibly talked about, why did I pick pi? Well, I consider myself to be a pie enthusiast. I don't necessarily mean apple, pumpkin, or key lime pie. What I mean by pie enthusiast is not only did I memorize 1,294 digits of pi, I did it for fun. This roughly places me in the top 50 in the country for memorizing pi. That's a lot of pi. So you may be thinking, how can something that proclaims to have significance be significant if it doesn't fall in any other categories with its fellow numbers? Well, there's something special about this particular number. It belongs and doesn't belong at the same time. Consider your phone password or your credit card information or perhaps something much more personal that is confidentially stored in the vault of your mind. Now, think about your past, your present, and your future. What if I told you that all this information was stored in a much more unexpected, easily accessible location, the number pi? Now you may be wondering, how could this information possibly be stored the number pi? Don't worry, it didn't just magically get there. If the digits of pi were translated into one of the many encoding bases available, if there was no complications, you would find that all this information, and more, is located in the irrational number pi. Pi can be found everywhere. Pi is used to measure and construct anything circular. Whether it's the wheels on your car, a mirror in your house, or that 12-inch pizza that you devoured last night in honor of Pi Day. Pi holds the world together, literally. Let's say we irrationally rounded the value of pi up to the single value four. Not only would our world be in math chaos because of all the miscalculations, all forces known to humankind would be destroyed. In a simpler representation, if pi equals four, this sentence would look like this. In other words, there would be no, no circles and in turn, everything would be squares. Essentially, instead of our diversely shaped world, we will live in something along the lines of a real-life Minecraft. So when your teachers tell you to round off correctly, they really do mean it. Why is any of this information important, you may ask? Well, pi isn't just a representation of mathematics and physics. It is a representation of our society. We envision our world as parts making up a whole, when in reality, the gaps between pieces are significant. The gaps represent significant issues on a globally represented aspect. We need to fill these gaps. By filling these gaps, our world works together and accepts other people's ideas and accepts the idea of worldly belonging. How is it possible to unify? Unity starts on an individual level. Something my mom likes to say is attitude determines altitude. For example, I'm sure you've all heard of growth and fixed mindsets. On a daily basis, I witness some of my high school peers display a fixed mindset by saying things like, I give up, or why try? I'm just not good at this. On the contrary, the few students with growth mindsets say things like, 
I persevere, and I can achieve anything I put my mind to. Carol Dweck studies have shown that those with a growth mindset have amplified brain growth in almost everything they do. Those that have made impacts in our world weren't just born that way. They travel on a never-ending road, like a circle, without knowing if they'll ever reach a summit. And frankly, it doesn't make a difference whether they do or don't. The goal isn't just to reach the summit. The goal is to earn takeaway. The takeaway is experience that you gain while on that road that you now have the ability to share with others. And this concept is never ending. Our minds have a capability to achieve tasks that would seem impossible without the right mindset. But sometimes, thinking more irrationally, like Pi, is what really opens doors to new and different perspectives. The well-known irrational thinker, Albert Einstein, tells us that, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift, and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society that honors the gift, or has honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. Pi is an extension of infinity. Infinity is a conception of the mind. Our minds have the capability to change perceptions. If infinity is a perception of the mind, then so is our idea of belonging. Change your perception, and you change your idea of belonging. Belonging isn't a feeling where you need to feel accepted. You can be outcasted and different. You don't have to belong to belong. In times where people with servant minds are honored and those with gifts are forgotten, stand behind and cherish your gift. You might have the ability to rewrite the future. You can think outside of the box, or better yet, along the line of a circle. Thank you.